Okay, okay. Does anybody really love winter? Does anybody really love winter? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Good morning, guys and girls. December 29, December 29. I tell you, we've got December 29, 30, and 31. Wow, wow, we got New Year's Eve coming up real quick. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. If anyone belongs to Christ, there is a new creation. The old things have gone, everything is made new. When we're saved, when we make Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior and turn our life over to Him, ask forgiveness of our sins, repent of those sins, and ask Him to be Lord of our life, the old things have gone away. He creates in us a new man, a new woman. Everything is made new. Everything is made new. Here's what I wrote about that. It doesn't quite hit out here this morning. <laughs> uh, wintertime is downright dreary. The coldness, the dampness, and even grayness just seemed to hang in the air. I realize it's not that way this morning. It'd been kind of cool if it was. Not really, because I'm out here hunting and I'd kind of like today. Pretty windy. It's really, really windy. But other than that, it's a pretty nice day. The longer the winter, the more we yearn for God to recreate our environment. Think about that. We're asking God to take and make everything new. All of these dead trees, you see a lot of cedars around here, but every other tree you look at, is dead no leaves no nothing little mistletoe little mistletoe oh I'm gonna stand under some mistletoe yes I am we long for the dead looking trees to turn green the brand brown grass to disappear Isn't it amazing the grass is brown where does it go it just disappears the flowers to bloom the gardens to be tempting us with delicious vegetables tomatoes cucumbers squash watermelons cantaloupes okra we long for the signs of new life. We long for God to warm the water and rejuvenate the fishing. God creates for us to see every year new life. He creates it every single year, new life. Winter and springtime are pictures both of our lives and of what Jesus can do with us. Winter and springtime are signs of what Jesus can do to and for you and me. He takes the cold, dark parts of our life in sin, and he turns us into bright, smiling, loving, and forgiving, brand new creations of his righteousness. Exactly what he intended us to be. Exactly what he intended us to be. I don't care what kind of situation you're in right now. I don't know, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know how, what your feelings are of yourself. If you think you're just, man, I've hit rock bottom. I'm, I'm just a terrible person. I've done this. I've done that. I committed these sins. God can't forgive me. I don't care what kind of health situations you're going through, what kind of financial situations, what kind of relationship situations. God can take all of that. He can take all of that darkness. He can take all of that bad and he can turn you into a brand new creation. He's done it over and over and over and over again. And he'll do it if you make him Lord of your life. If you ask him to save you, he's guaranteed that he'll do that. And he'll turn you into a brand new creation. He'll turn you into a bright, smiling, loving, and forgiving new creation. Oh, wow. Isn't that great? Here's our tip for the day. Never overlook a single stick up or stump in open water flats. You see a piece of brush, no matter how small, how significant it is, sticking out of the top of the water, you chunk at it. That's all there is to it. You throw at it. You know, that piece of brush might just be one little stick, and that might be all. But remember, a bass, all he's got to do, he gets his eyes behind something, he thinks he's hid. <laughs> his whole body's sticking out. He doesn't know that. He thinks he's hid. But underneath that one little stick might be a big old giant brush pile. Might be a big old giant brush pile. That one little stick you see sticking up the very top of it might have that big cedar tree underneath it. So every little stick, every little, particularly if you're in open water flats, 
you see a stump, you see a stick up, you throw at it. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Don't be that, what did that say, dark, gloomy? What did that say over here? Don't be that cold, dark, gloomy person. God's turned you into a bright, smiling, loving, and forgiving new creation. And remember, I love you. <laughs>